Hi, I'm Laura, poet and spoken word artist. I'm going to be me as I be we. <laughs> and I'm inviting you to journey with me for 10 minutes of stuff I really like to do. I am a novice or very new to um, video. So bear with me. I'm about to set the timer for 10 minutes. We're set. And give you a brief introduction of what we're about to do. We're about to create some poetry or spoken word, depending on how you choose to use it. So what we're going to do is number one, we're going to focus in on the lesser um, sensational aspects of self. For myself, I was always one of those people that in a room of really gifted people, I didn't feel very confident about what I brought to the table that was very gifted or great or amazing. And so by focusing on the least sensational aspects of self, we level the playing field and take a lot of pressure off to be so magnificent. And we get to celebrate those things that are regular everyday um, things that are pretty magnificent, but we don't really often pay attention to them like that. First, we're going to create a list of our least sensational attributes. Then we're going to take that list and break each one of those items down. Then we're going to create a title and then we'll write from that title. It's not nearly as confusing as I may be making it sound. So here we go. Keep in mind your list can include things that you do as well as ways that you feel or gifts that you feel you possess. Here's my list, pretty simple and cut. I suck my thumb. Yes, this is a real list. You can make fun if you want to, but it's my life. I bite my nails. I love doing dishes. Water is my favorite drink. I do not like scary movies, not even remotely scary. That's real talk. That's my list. Okay. Are you done now? <laughs> so now under each of those less sensational attributes, you're going to write three characteristics of each attribute. Let me explain. I know it's getting a little confusing, but I promise you it's not that difficult. Here's an example. Under I suck my thumb, I actually only came up with two. I cheated a little bit. I will suck my thumb in front of people. I don't have a problem with that. Number two, I suck either thumb. Most Thumb suckers have a preferred thumb, left or right. I don't care. Under, I bite my nails. I have three characteristics of that. I bite them down so far that they hurt, number two. I bite them so low I can't even scratch my head. That always sucks. Number three, sometimes if I see even a little white, the urge to bite them gets strong. Side note, if you wrote five attributes that were not so sensational and you only want to do three um, listings of characteristics, you can do that. That's pretty much what I did. I have five attributes, um, less sensational attributes about myself, but I only wrote characteristics for three of them. Is that um, I'm starting to feel like I'm not making sense. Please tell me I'm making sense. You got it? So now you should have five total attributes and three columns for your characteristics of three separate attributes. What you're going to do is take at least one 
of those attributes that have a column of characteristics under them. And you're going to make a title for it. You're going to look at it and you're going to say, hmm, what's an interesting title that would fit that? So for me, example, I took dishes. I took the attribute of the fact that I love to do dishes and I took the list of characteristics about dishes and I let that help me formulate a title. So for me, dishes, I love doing dishes. Number one, it can be very meditative. For me, I can go into a kind of meditation doing dishes. Number two, I'm good at soaking dishes in hot water and soap so that by the time those dishes um, are ready to be washed, it's not a job at all. It's like so simple for it to, you know, come right off. Number three, gloves are a must. They help me plow through almost any pile of yuck. So those are the three characteristics that I have under the fact that I love to do dishes. It can be meditative. I'm good at soaking them and I love gloves. They help. So with that list and that attribute being characterized, I look at the characteristics of loving to wash dishes and I try to come up with a title. At first I was gonna do nail biting, but I really love doing dishes. And then I did some uh, in between and so it really brought me back to doing dishes. So I came up with, um, I was gonna say like the dish downer or something like that, dirty dish downer. And then I said, oh yeah, I did write the dirty dish downer. I scratched it out because then as I kept playing with that, the word uh, words for a title in my head, I came up with dirty dish destroyer digs doing the deed okay it wasn't 10 minutes of fun it was 10 minutes of things i like to do or something like that so anyway let's keep going so after taking the attribute of loving to do dishes taking the characteristics from the second portion of loving to do dishes and then the title i let that help lead me into a writing Here's something about poetry that I love. It does not have to rhyme. The best poetry comes from your heart, from your soul. Sometimes it creates its own cadence. Sometimes the cadence is bumpy. Sometimes it rhymes, sometimes it doesn't. But now you get to write with that title in mind and the characteristics. And this is what I personally came up with. I go hard in the paint with a sink full of soap. I go hard in the paint, let my mind start to roam. Got a sponge and a scraper, like a pen and some paper. I create like a creator, transform these dishes like it's major. I wipe it down, shine them up, rinse them off when I'm done, stack them up, let them drain, wipe the counter, and the table let these gloves take a break because i'd unfinished meditating and now this kitchen got a glow so that's the end of my flow